Um, you're so sweet. She's not ready to go. Making some noise back here. I feel like it's just getting worse. She's going downhill pretty fast. Oh my god. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday and uh, chores are done. Uh, the ladies are still... Uh, yesterday I did come in here, actually yesterday there was a little bit of drama with Big Mama. Um, do I dare ask how you got out, Big Mama? Oh well. Where did you come from? <laughs> you went right to the door, didn't you? You knew where you got out. <laughs> Good girl. The you that tested 3.8 the other day, I induced her on Thursday. So today should be the day, and I'm so thankful I did it because she has not been eating and she has not been drinking. I have been doing the calcium once a day and glucose twice a day and I've also tried to get her up uh, two or three times a day. She hasn't been able to so she I've been able to get her up and she stood uh, but as every day Thursday, Friday and today as every day has progressed she is getting weaker so I'm glad I pulled the trigger. I wasn't sure if I made the right decision and looking back now I'm glad I did it. Now she I doubt these lambs will be viable and even if they are they're going to be tiny itty bitty um, and she has no milk so uh, she is she, we're going to get these lambs out of her and depending on how she perks up if she's still as weak as she is now, we'll give her maybe a couple days and then um, see if we can get her up again. But the prognosis of this ewe is probably not a, not a happy ending. But I also don't want her in pain if she's not eating and drinking. Today we'll be in and out watching her, just seeing if there's any signs of labor, if she needs assisted. I thought she looked like she had dropped a bit this morning. So um, if that's the case, then uh, then we're right on, on schedule. I, my best guess is about 3 p.m. this afternoon and we're sitting at probably about 10 a.m. right now so these three have been eating which is good she was eating she's just chilling now we are sitting at one o'clock nothing yet I tried to get her up I can get her back end up but I can't get her front end up so we just kind of maneuvered her here I gave her some feed not eating what about a drink of water. Hello, Mama Red. Can I steal your water? Hey, honey. So I don't want to be too too far away from the barn in case she's got some problems. The only issues I'm a little bit concerned on is if they're stillborn. She might need help taking them out just because she's so weak. Oh. so sweet. 
that's her little support system. Either that or she wants her feed, I haven't decided. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work away at cleaning up my utility room in there. It is a mess. Carissa tidies all the time for me, but then I come in and it's like a tornado went off in here. My camera died, so I'm using my phone. I'm not sure how much you guys saw, but she is definitely not dilated, not really, the cervix is not opened at all. So I am going to uh, give her, I guess, a few more hours and just keep watching, but she's, uh, she's going downhill pretty fast. She's not drinking, she's not eating. Want some hay? Some hay? Oh, you look interested. What's with that? You want that? Not you. On another note, we have got our little corner cleaned out and this is my room. It's much more organized. This is a little more organized. Making some noise back here, which isn't good. She looks a little early. I just went in quick for supper, but I've been watching my cameras and this mama uh, looks like she's pushing now with no luck. So I'm wondering if maybe this lamb is not positioned right. Maybe it's coming out backwards. So I just want to have a look. I did set up some lambing pens down there. They're not really where I want them, but I, I, can, uh, I can move them this week, no problem. Yeah, she's laying down. Oh, did you have a baby? She's, she had a stillborn. You having another one? Okay, let's see what we're dealing with, guys. This is why you're pushing so hard. They're hard to get out when they're not coming out alive. Should we move you? See if you have another one? You should be all right to move, I think. Well, thankfully, I got my lambing kit all set up today. I get, I got her move, no problem. She uh, followed her lamb. Oh, it's really disappointing when they're good moms. So I'm just going to check her for a second. Just get it, make sure she's cleaned out for the night. Right here, good girl. It's really hard for them to deliver when the lamb is stillborn because the lamb can't help her. It's a shame, These, this one would have been enough. Feels, this one feels bigger. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Something was wrong. Spine is good. Just 
not quite there, little girl. Other than that, they look fine. There's another one in there. I got a foot. Someone sounds like they're pushing. Oh, goodness, what's going on now? Okay, I need to get the third one out. There you go. That's a girl. Yep. Oh, over that way. Okay. Good girl. I know you're doing all the work. I'm trying to work with her contraption. There you go. You got it. Good girl. Oh, those are really big triplets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Come up. Or just the down there. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was just talking to Mark at supper and I'm like, I feel like I do more um, as I learn with every lambing group. I feel like the next lambing group I even do more uh, things to, you know, I have a sick pen. I've never had a sick pen before. Like I'm trying to do all these things and it's like, I feel like it's just getting worse. I'm really hoping lambing gets better. Um, I hate it when it starts out like this. I feel like the last few have started out really rough and you guys hate it when lambing starts rough. I'm gonna be very scared of my comment section for the next like week. This could be some of the matey business stuff. I mean this is this is this is why we're doing that test and uh, maybe maybe when this lambing group is all said and done and we get stuff weaned out we will uh, we will have data to maybe point us into a, a new direction, a good direction because right now um, Lambing gets better usually, but when it starts out really bad, I get really tired even before we start. And um, yeah, it just makes for a long, it makes for a long process. And we have a month of this left. So looking at these guys now, I'm just feeling really overwhelmed. <laughs> oh, and I want that one to lamb and she's just not. I guess right now I just want her to live and I'm not really sure she, she agrees with me right now. So anyway, Let's hope tomorrow's a better day. Good morning, it's Sunday. I'm a little scared to see what's going on in here today. Any babies, mama? Nothing. Hmm. She's just moved a little bit this way. How are you? Are you chewing your cud? I'm very happy about this one. Never thought I'd say this, but uh, I'm so glad there's no lambs. <laughs> it's too early. They can wait. But there are a lot that are bagged up nice, and they have a pretty loose back end, which means it's only a matter of time now. They're due a week today, so the countdown is is on. She has still not uh, expelled her placenta, which is a bit concerning. I did give her some penicillin last night. I'll have to give it again today uh, because retained placenta can lead into metritis, which is bad. Um, so I'd like to see this this afterbirth out of her over the next couple days for sure. I was just kind of hoping she would lamb and then I could see if she would take her lambs, but it's probably too late now. And I don't think her lambs are gonna be viable but fingers crossed. I am curious what her blood is testing right now. I'm gonna do another blood test and see where we're at. If she's like through the roof, there's probably no saving her. Um, it might be worth a text to my vet just to see. I'm gonna do that. I did an internal on her again and she's nowhere near dilated so the induction isn't even working for whatever reason. Oh, I forgot a needle, darn it. Just a sec. I'll be right back. Yeah, she's gone up. So she's a 5.9 now from a 3.8 a couple days ago. So she's definitely getting worse. So it just goes to show you that no matter what, I uh, followed the protocol and uh, she just didn't turn around. The other one 
I mean, without checking her blood, I would say is doing a lot better. Um, I'll continue to give her glucose, but yesterday was the first day I didn't give her calcium, and she's looking still pretty good. We got some decision making to make on this view, and it's likely not what any of you guys want to see. <laughs> Well, you guys, we have three lambs that I pulled out real quick. We uh, euthanized the ewe and did an emergency C-section. All three have a heartbeat. I cannot believe it, but they are gasping for air. So I've been just trying to work at clearing the air. They're just trying to learn how to breathe. Come on. Which needs stimulated. Mom uses her tongue, but mom is no longer with us. Come on, come on, I know. I know, it's so hard, your poor little lungs. Oh, you guys are so cute, hello. Thank you for living. Oh, gosh. I'm getting Belinda on here. Luck! Oh my God! I know, three! Yes! Oh my god. This has been sad. <laughs> sad and happy. Here, say hi to Annie Belinda. They might need a little extra TLC, but you'll get them going. I hope so. Oh my god, you're so cute. It's Amy's birthday today, too. I know. I saw that in the calendar, and then I was like, oh god, this on top of it. Alright, I'm gonna go try to save these guys. Great. I'm so happy. Now. I know. Okay, <laughs> talk to you later. Exciting. There's your miracle. There's story. my miracle. Okay, nice. bye. Oh my god, I'm so happy. All right, we're going to try and bottle feed these guys. Well, since you're the strongest one, let's see what you got. Can I try this one? What'd you think? That's called milk. Okay, let's try this one. Hi! Number three? You suck my finger? Not quite, buddy. Oh, look at you go! You're saying hi to the people? Let's try you again. Good baby. Wow. Jeez Louise! Whoa! Snot coming out from everywhere. All right, you guys have all had a little taste. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get a warming box ready for them. Oh my god, I can't believe this happened actually. So I gave my little nuggets a bath. So I have given them um, a, a shot each of some dexamethasone just as a steroid to help help clear that airway. Uh, I did use the I did use this, which has been a godsend to get rid of that excess fluid but I would say this is a little miracle today so on second thought I took a temp of these lambs just to make sure just because they had a little bit of colostrum doesn't necessarily mean their temps they might have just been borderline strong enough to take a drink sure enough all three of them are sitting around that 35 degrees Celsius and it should be 37 so uh, I don't think the colostrum hurt them or they wouldn't have been able to swallow I think I hope I pray uh, but what I'm going to do is I have them all uh, washed up, wrapped in a blanket, so hopefully they can't move around too much. They're kind of snuggled in here. On this heating pad, I'm going to try just with the heating pad to get their temps up to 37, which is 2 degrees, so it should happen. Maybe I'll feed and check them again, and if it's not going the right way, I'll probably have to do a dextrose treatment just to get uh, their... It would mean they're hypoglycemic. The little white one is the strongest. She's... Tra she? He? is trying to uh, get up but the other two are pretty weak so thankful I got a little bit of miracle juice into them but we will see okay little birds how are you oh that's a good sign how's your little siblings let's take your temp okay oh what's this what's this 
Yeah. Okay, the strong lamb has gone up to 36.6. So that's real close to 37. And then she's, she? Are you a she or a he? Can I see what you are? You're a he. It's strong. It's doing all the things that tells me you want to live. Hi, do you want a f do you want some food? Oh, you smell good. Hi. <laughs> okay. Let me check. Check your siblings here. On the right way. So it's 363. Good. Hi. Okay, this one's still just at 36, so this one's pretty weak. So they're coming. They're improving, which is good. Our last update, it's lunchtime, this one. Uh, it's the one with the highest temp, so it was 36.6 on the thermometer. So I was able to get 50 more mils into him. Uh, the other two do not have a sucking reflex, and their temperature's still quite a bit lower than this guy. So I did a dextrose treatment on both those lambs um, and I'm going to let them get to closer to 37, hopefully get a sucking reflex and then I will tube them with colostrum. Uh, unless I can, unless for some miracle they'll drink out of a bottle, but they're, they're still pretty weak. But they're very, very vocal, which gives me, which gives me some hope. So I'm gonna go have lunch, I'm starving, and then uh, finish chores. I haven't even finished chore all the chores. We have successfully bottle fed this one. So she, he drank 175 to 100 mils this go around. And these two, I ended up tubing and they're looking very excited. This one did not look good a couple hours ago, so. We are going the right way, I think. It's still going to be a long road, but fingers crossed. Hey. So my babies are uh, doing really good. I still had to tube two out of the three. Uh, however, they're a bit, they're wanderers. So we have made a little makeshift fort for them and I put some blankets on the ground. I, I just didn't want, um, in the last lambing group I did have a set of twins and the one ended up laying on the other one's head once it got strong enough and I don't want a repeat of that on this group so we let them out. I got Jess just to let them out this afternoon. I ran into town quick. She came out, tried to bottle feed them and uh, I said just let them out and she did but now I have to barricade them in. Okay, you guys are going to get sick of this room and you're going to get sick of me, but you're probably not going to get sick of these three. It is the night check, so we're sitting around eight, quarter after eight. I'm hoping this feed will get them through till four. They're really itty bitty, so if I can get a full like 150 into them, which I don't know if I will, I'm hoping that will get them through till the morning. Hi. You guys look good. Okay, unfortunately, same deal tonight. One drank good, this one. And these two I had to tube. So we will see in the morning. I'll get up a four and give them a bottle. Hopefully they'll drink out of a bottle. Hopefully they'll be hungry enough, they'll want it. I think we're just dealing with really immature lambs still. So hopefully tomorrow we'll see some improvements. Oh. But today, this was uh, pretty miraculous, and uh, today is also Amy's birthday, and I just feel like sometimes I am thrown a bit of a win, and today was a special day to experience that, and um, I'm just grateful for them. And I'm currently editing the video when I'm, I have their mom up and walking, and it's, it's killing me just a little bit, so it's nice to come out and see that... Uh, that that mama worked hard to produce three beautiful little lambs and uh, now it's up to me to keep them keep them trucking <laughs>